everybody. Welcome back to the Resleevables Tournament Edition. I'm your host, Cedric Phillips at Cedric A. Phillips on all the things. And I'm joined by Mr. Met. Is that a Mets? Yeah. 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 Patrick Sullivan at a at Basic Mountain on Twitter. Hey there, Mr. Met. Doug Gooden, baby. My first favorite baseball player. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I, I guess a Mets sympathizer in okay. so far as I grew up kind of in the area. And uh, one of my first major sports memories was them winning the World Series. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I became a Padres fan after moving to Southern California. But I have some sympathy and, you know, sentimental feelings towards the Mets. Okay, fair enough. They stink. That's beside the point. Uh, we have a new pro tour to cover. If you've uh, if you've read the details, you already know which one it is. It's the second one ever. Pro Tour Los Angeles way back in 1996 when I was 10. Yeah. A lot of cool things going on here. Okay. We've got a booster draft Pro Tour. We do. The first one ever. And this is really the first revered tournament site in Magic's history. Yeah. We'll go we can into talk a little about bit. that. Yeah. But the pitch back in the day when you and I were coming up and playing Pro Tours was... Play the game, see the world. Yep. And that ended up being, at times, more fiction than reality. <laughs> sure. But occasionally, there were some really cool venues. Remember GP Nashville and going to the Grand Ole Opera House? Uh, I, I wasn't at that one. There was a, There's just a couple that really stand out. And yeah. this is the first one that if you talk to people who played the Pro Tour or were kind of coming up at the time and wanted to play the Pro Tour, this is the one that they point to. It was like, this was cool. It's okay. made the Pro Tour feel larger than life. Okay. Okay. Well, it is a very cool venue, and we're going to be getting to that in the facts portion of the show. We, of course, as Patrick mentioned, have to talk about Booster Draft and the format, uh, particularly the packs for the Booster Draft. Uh, we've got some gameplay coming for you fine folks out there who, for some reason, like watching us play Magic. Uh, and then uh, we've got a particularly m a muscular fellow winning the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A real, a real... Arr. Maybe a hammer or two. Anyway, uh, we're going to start this episode where we start every episode with the facts of Pro Tour Los Angeles. All right, everybody, it is now time for the facts of Pro Tour Los Angeles way back in 1996. But before we get to those, we're going to get to the facts of our wonderful sponsor, Tales of of adventure. You can head over to toamagic.com and check out a selection of over 77,000 SKUs in stock, including 80 pieces of the Power 9, every single revised dual land, and 99% of standard cards for those of you playing in standard RCQs this season. Every order placed with Tales of Adventure comes with free track shipping. UPS next day and two day shipping is offered for orders placed before 8 a.m. And Tales of Adventure has completed over 1 million orders lifetime. So you know you'll be in good hands with Michael Caffrey and his staff. If you'll be attending an event that Tales of Adventure will be at when you're checking out, you can select the event pickup option. So you can simply pick up the cards you've ordered right at the event you'll be at. You can find a list of events that Tales of Adventure will be at attending on their homepage, toamagic.com. Lastly, when checking out, be sure to use promo code RESLEAVABLES to get 5% off your entire order. Tales of Adventure, Eternal lives here. Alrighty, partner. Let's do it to it. Let's learn some things about the second Magic the Gathering Pro Tour, some of which uh, you already knew before we went over things in our pre-show meeting. Uh, Pro Tour Los Angeles was held from May 3rd through the 5th, back in 1996, where the Queen Mary in Long Beach, California. Now, how far away is Long Beach from L.A.? You, do you know? It's tough to say because traffic is always like, you know, who knows? Yeah, sure. But a clean shot from downtown L.A. to Long Beach is 30 minutes, maybe. It's okay. close. Okay, that's not that bad. Yeah. They have an airport, too. You can fly in there, so. Mm, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, it's small, but, you know, and maybe it didn't exist in 96, but you and I have been bamboozled in our time about, oh, this pro tour in X City is actually in some random suburb two and a half hours away. Oh, yeah. This is reasonable. It is reasonable to call it. It's part of Los Angeles County. It's not that far of a drive. I think it's fine. Okay. I guess I did cover an arena pro tour that was in Long Beach. But, mm -hmm. like, you know, there's I was in a building most of the time, so whatever. Uh, this particular pro tour had 179 players in the seniors division, uh, which I think was rebranded to being called the masters division uh, based off of the research that I did. And then it had 102 players in the juniors division. So 
uh, you know, we've got a decent number of people here, but this PT is different than New York, the first Pro Tour, uh, because unlike Pro Tour New York, which was known as PT Speed Dial, if you were with us for our last episode of Tournament Edition, uh, because players had to call the Wizards of the Coast offices in Washington to register for one of the available slots, Pro Tour Los Angeles was an invite-only tournament, as were all subsequent Pro Tours, including the ones even today. So, the uh, the call in to register for the PT that's a that's a one and done. Yeah, I mean, I actually appreciate that. That's part of Magic's history. Same. Like, look how far we've come from this. Yeah. But it's nice to move to a system where playing is somehow involves playing Magic along the way, and not just having to get through uh, dozens of people calling at the same time. Yeah, especially back then. I know we probably talked about this in the last episode, but like long distance. Oh, yeah. Just acquiring some. That's got that wasn't free. Then. Yeah, that's 50 cents up front. Yeah. Oof. Even if they don't even pick up. Oof. Right. So this is a better system. It's a more prestigious system. It's a more credible system. But I do have some fondness for the PT speed dial story. Uh, as Patrick mentioned earlier in the show, Pro Tour Los Angeles was the first major tournament to feature only limited play. It's a booster draft PT. Now, what sets was it? Oh. Fourth edition, fourth edition homelands. What's the issue there? Huh. Is it the lack of themes? That's one. Is it the lack of basically any dual land? That's probably two. Is it uh the weather light packs are randomly smaller? So oh, you, you mean just, the homelands packs. The homelands packs yeah. are randomly smaller. Yeah, uh the fourth edition boosters are fifteen cards. The homelands booster is eight cards. And we're not talking about means you can't even do you even wheel anything though? A deep well. No, yeah, it's you just yeah, one it's and just, done. Yeah, one and done. Yikes. And we're talking about a set where like an upper 50th percentile pick is Beast of the Unicorn. Oh yeah. It's not we're not talking about, you know, modern masters or whatever. No. <laughs> you are, you're struggling to find anything that can attack or interact with a creature in these packs. Yeah, so you're working with 38 toll cards uh, for your boosty, but everybody had to do that, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, let's talk about the money, 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 Shane O'Mac. Uh, Pro Tour Los Angeles' prize pool was significantly larger than Pro Tour New York's prize pool, so let's compare the two. Pro Tour New York's prize pool was $30,000. First place was $12,000 and 30 pro points. Second place was $5,000 and 25 pro points. Third and fourth was $2,500 and 20 pro points. Fifth through eighth was $1,000 and 10 pro points. And then ninth through 16th was $500. Now, you know what we got there? We got some nice round numbers. Right. It's nice. Nice to put on a little, you know, a flyer or something. Yeah. Yeah, you like the big round numbers. Looks good. Pro Tour Los Angeles prize pool was $100,000. It's a $70,000 increase. First place, $17,000 and 30 pro points. Second place, $10,000 and 25 pro points. Third and fourth place, $5,900 and 20 pro points. Fifth through eighth, $3,500 and 10 pro points. Ninth through 16th, $2,000, 17th through 32nd, $1,150, and 33rd through 64, $400. So not only is it more money, but also pricing down further too. Hard to know, you know, sort of a chicken and egg thing, but I think it does make sense to come into the second Pro Tour with a lot more money involved. If you're moving from a model where, <clears throat> excuse me, you can just call in and play Yeah. to you had to win something somewhere. Sure. It's a lot more investment to be able to play in the second thing. So the signal of legitimacy and the fact that your participation in organized play is subsidizing this event with way more money involved yep. makes a lot of sense. And remember, we're talking $1996 as well. So you can roughly multiply that by two to get to a dollar in 2024. These payouts are really not that far off from a modern day pro tour. It's really not. And we're talking about a much smaller field of participants as well. Yeah. So you know what? Eating pretty good back in 1996 for these players. Uh, speaking of the players, normally, uh, especially like in our last episode, if you're with us, we kind of did a breakdown of the facts and the top eight players and the top eight decks and everything. But one, we don't have a lot of information about this pro tour. And two, uh, 
there's not a lot of players in this tournament and three it's limited so we don't have a lot of like deck lists to go over and be like wow earn him get him uh necropotence like all their stuff what was the meta game like yeah uh i don't know try to find anything that can attack yes a three mana one one flyer definitely in your deck no chance you would cut that. No, that's actually like a pretty good card. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the top eight players in the facts portion. Uh, and as you can probably see on the bottom bar, there's a uh, there's a decks portion. There's a gameplay portion. There's a wrap up portion. So top eight players. Let's start with uh, the winner. The hammer. Sean Hammer Regner, 27 uh, year old comic book store owner from Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, more importantly, Tom top eight at Pro Tour New York. Excuse me. Sean top eight at pro tour new york and top eight at this one too and i've talked about this a little bit on the the show but um the people making back-to-back top eights or multiple pt wins early on was a big part of magic's competitive legitimacy okay because even nowadays you have people who play magic who say yeah it's just really random sometimes playing well matters but you know it's just land flood and screw and mulligans like that determines a lot of the game and to have players be able to top eight over and over again, in spite of all the variance that the game has, which is real, legitimate, yeah, does show that there's something going on here that is skill intensive, even if I can't personally see it, or even if it doesn't manifest in every single game. It's also very cool that you have a constructed Pro Tour and then a limited Pro Tour, two very different animals yeah how to play the game what the rules are even and for someone to go back to back in two very different formats also does a lot to signal the game has a ton of skill also sean's deck is really cool we're going to get to that in the next portion of the show uh second place little spoiler earlier there uh, i said tom it's for tom guevin a 22 year old from nashua new hampshire uh nickname was tight tight tom guevin yeah uh this is before my time this is where patrick is really going to earn his money here so right. teach I me i want to back up a little bit we're going to talk about team ymg okay it doesn't exist anymore but uh back in the day and during my time coming up this was one of the top if not the top american team well, i'm going to pause you what's ymg even stand for your move games there we go i believe they had two stores if memory serves I, i'm almost positive the flagship store was in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Okay. I think they might have also had a store in Connecticut or Rhode Island, somewhere else in New England. But Cambridge was the foundation. And a nice benefit of having a store in Cambridge is, one, you're very close to Boston. So that's a large city to draw players from. And two, you're right next door to Harvard and MIT. So we're talking about people with some academic chops and probably good at games coming in. So the found the foundational members of this team, in my opinion, are Rob Darty, who was the owner of your move games, uh, Dave Humphreys, and Darwin Castle. I know that Dave was going to school at MIT. I don't really know if Darwin was from the area or not, but we'll call those the flagship members. And not to spoil too much, but they actually the three of them went on to win the first team pro tour, which was team limited. Even at the time, they were kind of an older crowd. I know that. You know, you, Dave was 24 or 25 when this happened. So by the time I'm playing Pro Tours, he's in his early 30s. That's not super old, but they were a little bit old on the older side. And we're talking about a pretty straight-laced crowd. Not much in the way of controversy, flash, uh, rivalries with other people. They were just kind of, I've said it before, but they were, you know, kind of nerds. Yeah, a nerdy group. Just boring. And you can throw Justin Gary and, you know, you go down the line. There's a there's a huge family tree of pros that came down through this pipeline in some form or another, including names you might be familiar with, like William Jensen, Paul Rietzel, Mike Sigrist, et cetera, et cetera. So there's still a legacy there, even though I don't know if the shop exists anymore. Okay. But like I said, this was an older crowd and kind of a buttoned up crowd. And anyone who knows a good, you know, story about any sort of team you're an oceans 11 fan anything like that you need one wild card it's important this was what undid our era at target new jersey all wild cards (laughs) not a single (laughs) not a single not wild card in the mix (laughs) sure why and she had the other way part of their success was they had the perfect number of wild cards and that was one and it was tom 
he was the first person that I met through magic that I was like, this guy's on some other sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know how else to explain it, but high energy, high volatility, someone whose company I enjoyed actually, but we didn't hang out all that much, but I, I did, I did kind of know him through the scene and I enjoyed his company, but he was the first person that I remember that was like, I, what does this person do in their spare time? I can't even imagine what it is. It's one of my favorite things about magic. Yeah. You just don't know what the people, you see the people at the tournament, but like, what do they do when they're not at the tournament? Right. Exactly. Who and knows? That lineage of YMG is actually pretty influential on game design and magic in general. Yeah. Dave Humphreys is one of the, uh, you know, most experienced, most senior people over at Wizards making magic nowadays. Set lead on multiple very good sets. Yep. I know Rob and Darwin are also involved in their own game design company that the two of them are kind of working on together. So they have an impact that's gone beyond competitive magic. But at the time, they were kind of just these dorks I knew. But part of what kept me, my behavior in line was Tom looming. Because you just do not know. I, uh, I've, I've heard rumors that Tom is not the fastest of players. Uh, He's not. He could turn it. He's someone who had a sense of the moment. He could really turn it on or off. Okay. But I think his baseline pace of play was pretty slow. But that was not uncommon at the time, nor was it particularly uncommon for the YMG players. Darwin and Rob not breaking any land speed records. Hump, if you're watching this, you know I love you. But, uh, wow, some laborious games. Dave actually told me at one point that what really helped him for speeding up his matches was playing on Magic Online. Sure. Because he just timed out all the time. He's yeah, like, oh, yeah. I am actually playing too slow. Yeah, I need to pick and that up. And later on in his career, he became much faster. Uh, let's go to third place. Uh, the aforementioned Darwin Castle, 24 years old at the time from Alston, Massachusetts. Uh, Magic Hall of Famer. Yes. And this is kind of where the party gets started. Uh, fourth place, we have Mark Venhaus, a 26-year-old from Hawthorne, California. Uh, I have no additional notes. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Mark. Local opponent, Hawthorne in the Los Angeles area. Okay, sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, fifth place, Scott Johns, 23-year-old uh, from Northridge, California. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe should have been a Hall of Famer. Maybe not. A little controversy there. Uh, do you, what do you want me to do here? I, it's up to you. Okay. I did not know Scott very well. Okay. He was a bit before my time. I mean, we had some pro tours early in my career that overlapped, but I didn't really interact with him personally. This is what I was told. If you just look at the numbers, he has a slam dunk Hall of Fame case. But he's not, and he's never been close, so maybe something else is going on. Sure, because remember, the Magic Hall of Fame is voted on by your peers. Part, yeah, that's a, a percentage of it. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But also a lot of the people that work at Watsi were around the Pro Tour at this time as yes. well. You, your Dave Humphreys and Aaron Forsythe's were no, you know, no stranger to Scott John. So I can only speculate. I can only tell you what I've been told. We're not saying one thing but, one way or the other. But in terms of just on resume, if you just looked at the results on a spreadsheet, yeah, it's not close. He would be in the hall. Uh, sixth place, Preston Poulter. A 22-year-old from Irvine, California, uh, also made top eight uh, at Pro Tour New York. So much like Sean, the hammer, we've got back-to-back -back top eights for two players a here. Sicko. Yeah. He was nice. Which is really nice. Yeah, he was nice. Seventh place was Vaughn Sandor, a 20-year-old from Woodbridge, New Jersey. Is that even close to where you grew up? Yeah, Woodbridge is about 20 minutes away from where I grew up. Okay, cool. Uh, very weird. I, to my knowledge, I've never... I've never heard of this person before. Okay. And th that's an odd thing because, I, I mean, at this point, I was kind of playing in tournaments in that area. So it's possible I played against this person or was in the same tournament them at some point, but not to my knowledge. And then we have eighth place. It's Jeffrey Wood, 30-year-old from Mountain View, California A. So those are your top eight players. But I also took some notes uh, from some other players, notable non-top eight finishes uh, for us to potentially riff on here, uh, including 10th place, Matt Place, co-worker of, well, previous co-worker of you. I mean, uh, by far the single greatest influence on me as a game designer. Yeah. Uh, formerly at Wizards of the Coast, I think he was the design lead for the first Eldrazi set, if memory serves, and was heavily influential in kind of that era uh, of magic design. Uh, he, we worked together over at Cryptozoic Entertainment on the World of Warcraft trading card game. 
he eventually went off and did his own thing to quite a great deal of success. Storybook Brawl, probably the one that would ring the most bells for people, but other games as well. Um, and yeah, just hugely influential on me. Um, yeah. And we played ball all the time. Oh, he's and he was nice. Okay. He, he was nice too. Uh, 14th place, we got George Baxter. If you were here for our Pro Tour New York episode, that name is familiar because he top eight of that tournament and also wrote a lot of books about magic, which is super cool. Uh, 15th place, the aforementioned Dave Humphreys, who is a uh, designer at Wizards of the Coast. I don't know if that's his official title, but... Yeah, I think principal designer. Yeah, something um, lofty because he's been there forever. He was my first boss in game design okay. over at Upper Deck. Um, yeah, and also just a huge influence on me. Uh, 22nd place, we have Michael Lacanto, the winner of Pro Tour New York. So uh, that a nice follow-up finish, not a top eight, but a really good follow-up finish. 24th place, we have Mark Justice, who also top eighted Pro Tour New York. So another nice follow-up finish there. We've got 30th place, Mike Long. Mm-hmm. The one and only. I can't wait till we get further in this aspect of our show yeah. and just get to just detail and chronicle Mike Long. Yeah, I guess, I guess there's a... You know, now that I'm in kind of a nostalgic mood, some of these names and thinking about the Queen Mary and all that, I want to say that at least back in our day, okay, our cheaters were charismatic. Yeah, Mike was. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, Mike could sell ice to a polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason. There's a reason he was able to do. And and my understanding is his, his post-magic career has been also a series of non-stop and successful griffs yeah. So, yeah. so sometimes the skills transfer over or whatever you want to say sure but you know there was a reason and also mike was good that's another like mike was good at playing the game mm -hmm. it so you put those th two things together and it's no surprise that his name is gonna be popping up a lot over the course of the show that's for when you want that little extra yeah. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, 38th place, Eric Tam, uh, who also made the top eight of Pro Tour New York. So I have one final fun thing to read here before we uh, before we wrap up the facts section. Um, I found a press release uh, because we got some good use of the team. Our editor, John, our other our other editor, shout out Rob, who edits this show. Uh, I'm just going to read it. OK. For immediate release, contact Carrie, I can't, Carrie Thial or Sue Lane Wood Jeffrey Need or Kristen Merritt. A lot of words there. Wizards of the Coast, new professional champions crowned for second leg of a million dollar Magic the Gathering. There's a Z at the end of Gathering. I don't know why. Pro Tour trademark. Wizards of the Coast, Inc. awards $130,000 in prizes for Long Beach Tournament. May 10th, 1996. Sean Hammer Regner and Max Zlager demonstrate their mastery of magic by winning the second round of the million dollar match at the Gathering Pro Tour in Long Beach, California last weekend. Regner, 27 year old comic book store owner from Manchester, New Hampshire, captured first place in the open seniors competition after he defeated 22 year old finalist Thomas Gwevin, also of New Hampshire, in a grueling five hour Final match. Regner garnered $17,000 and Gwevin took home $10,000. Quote, the final match was really exciting. Both of us fought up until the last play, end quote, said Regner. Quote, I can't tell you how great it feels to be rewarded for something you love to do, end quote. In the juniors competition, the 17-year-old Max Lager returned to Schaumburg, Illinois, with an $8,400 scholarship after defeating 18-year-old Paul McCabe of Toronto, Canada in the final showdown. Other top contenders in the juniors and seniors competition include seniors quarterfinalist Darwin Mess Castle and Mark Van House, junior quarterfinalist Brian Wilson and Jason Normant from Hackerstown, New Jersey, or excuse me, Hackettstown, New Jersey. Yeah, I know him. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's like, we've, um, we, we were like, I think we were groomsmen in Craig Rebels' wedding, <laughs> both the two of us. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. I okay. know. Yeah. Uh, the Long Beach Professional Tournament was the second stop on the Six City $1 million Pro Tour, which kicked off in New York in February. Shout out that old episode of the Receivables Tournament Edition. Make sure you watch it. Uh, in uh, Wizards of the Coast, excuse me, publisher of the popular 
card game Magic the Gathering invited more than 300 players from approximately 15 countries to the Long Beach event. Players traveled to Southern California to compete for cash prizes and scholarships totaling $130,000. This year's four remaining tournaments will take place in the following locations. Columbus, Ohio, July 4th through the 7th. Prize pool, excuse me, purse of $155,000. Seattle, Washington, August 17th and the 18th. Purse, $200,000. Atlanta, Georgia, September. Purse, $205,000. Then Dallas, Texas in November. Purse, $250,000. And this is normally when you're listening to a sports betting podcast where they do this. Uh, Wizard of the Coast of Game Manufacturer based in Seattle, Washington in August 93. The company created a worldwide sensation when it was really... (laughs) When did it release? Magic the Gathering so big was the initial demand for the game that the first print run of 10 million cards sold out in six weeks instead of the originally estimated six months. To date, more than 1 billion cards have sold worldwide, and the game is translated in six languages, French, Spanish, German, Portuguese, Italian, and Japanese. Wizards of the Coast has branches in Glasgow, Scotland, Antwerp, Belgium, and Paris, France. For more information on Wizards of the Coast, visit the company's website at http colon uh, slash slash wizards, uh, www.wizards.com. Uh, if you have a gambling problem, please call blah, 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 blah. That's why you're you. I have my moments. That was nice. Thank you. I didn't. That, I didn't, that was the first go. Mm-hmm. Um, press releases are fun. First of all, I would have cut out the part about the match being five hours. I think they might kind of like that. I know that they like it, but it, if I'm just a random person who plays games, I'm like, I'm ah, cool. A new card game and there's money involved. Oh, five hours. Never mind. <laughs> I'm off it. Five hours is so long. Yeah, so long. Uh, here's one thing that stood out to me outside of the five hours and the quote from Sean, which is cool. Um, they announce their next four events, and the purse for each one gets bigger. Yeah, it's cool. They already know what their next four events are going to be, and each one pays more and more and more. So if you're a random player during this time, you're like, I'm so in. And it's, Are you it's, kidding? It's getting bigger. Yeah. It's growing. Yeah. Right? Like, And, and if, I miss the, if I miss the one that's coming up, I, I want to qualify even more for the next one. Yeah. Great stuff. Super, super cool. It doesn't have to be that much money because they're talking about jumps from 200 to 205 to 250. Yeah. But it does signal like a, you know, the snowball is starting to roll down. Like this is here to stay. Yeah. yeah. yeah which is really cool. Uh, there will be a link to this press release in the show notes if you want to click it and read it yourself. Uh, but the facts of Pro Tour Los Angeles 1996 are done. We're taking a short break. When we come back, we're going to go over the two finalist decks right after this. All right, everybody, it is now time to go over the finalist decks here for the Pro Tour Los Angeles 1996. Before we go there first, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor of this section of the show, Original Magic art you can head over to original magic art dot store to learn more about the awesome kickstarter that they're doing with the one the only Magali Villeneuve, who is known throughout Magic the Gathering for illustrating some of the game's most incredible planeswalkers and many of its most iconic characters, including Chandra, Torch of Defiance, Leovold, Emissary of Trest, Calyx, Destiny's Hand, Narset, Parter of Veils, Gandalf the White, and the newly previewed at Magic Con Chicago, Oko, the ringleader. Magali has teamed up with OMA Store to offer a limited edition collection of licensed Magic the Gathering playmats and prints, both gorgeously extended to see the full scene. The Kickstarter has over 2,100 backers. It has been pledged over $187,000 with about two weeks left to go. If you want to join in on the fun, click the link in our show notes and support one of the most awesome Kickstarters we've ever seen. All right, partner. These are the decks that we're going to be playing a few minutes from now. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember, 4th edition, 4th edition, Homelands draft. Sean Regner's deck. Mm-hmm. Chef's Kiss. A beaut. Yes. Because you don't see this nowadays. Because you can't. The game is different. But as we bring this deck list up on screen, we've got seven creatures. We've got eight spells. We've got 10 enchantments. We've got 18 lands. And if you're good at math, you've noticed that it doesn't add up to 40. And also keep in mind that we're talking about drafting 38 cards eight of which are from Homelands. Mm-hmm. So we're already kind of straining to 
squeeze any playables out of that. And Sean still came to the table with more than 40. Gorgeous. It's awesome. So the creatures here, we got a dark maze, a giant oyster, a giant tortoise, a grape shot, grape shot catapult, excuse me, a Samite healer, a wall of bone, and a Yoshin soldier. What do all these have in common? Block city. Defense. Defense. Uh, we have no interest in attacking. Let's go to the spells. Two alabaster potion, one blue elemental blast, one counter spell, one disenchant, one power sink, one spell blast, one sword supply shares. What do all these have in common? Defense. All right, let's go to enchantments. Kill that, counter that. Kill that, counter that. That's right. <laughs> Gain a little life along the way. Yeah. Uh, enchantments. We've got an animate that. We've got, oh God. We have a circle of protection black. We have a circle of protection green. We have a control magic. Take your best thing. We inexplicably have a feast of the unicorn, which we're going to come back to in just a second. We have a card that you've talked about a lot when we do the limited award on episodes, the flood. Mm -hmm. which you said was busted and spoiler it's pretty good in the games that we play uh and then we have four copy of gaseous form you're starting to sense a theme here outside of the feast of the unicorn which i guess you could say i don't know suit up yoshin soldier sick on yoshin soldier yeah pretty sick on the tortoise <laughs> yeah pretty big tortoise you know if you're in the mirror match you put it on the oyster start getting some work in yeah so, you know I don't know. I do love the the spread of color here. It's like cop green, cop black, and a blue glass. Like there's maybe not all of these are good against all the opponents, but no one can dodge it all. No, no, no. <laughs> so Sean has come here with the ability to play the ultimate defense, has no interest in trying to attack to kill you, though, you know, he could control magic something hypothetically or animate that something hypothetically, right? Maybe like a big flyer, spoiler coming. Uh, and then if you look in the sideboard, there's various riffraff and then a circle of protection blue. So he's going to mill you. Well, what he's going to deck you. What I appreciate about this is, you know, there's certainly a stereotype back in the day and even like now to some extent. Uh, yeah, these draft decks are just kind of like a soup of cards, and there's just the cards that are good on rate, and it's just random commons colliding with each other. It's part of the reason that, you know, limited has been de-emphasized from magic coverage and organized play. It's just, can people emotionally connect with what they're watching? Yeah. Because the experiences are so singular and weird. Yep. This is a deck. This is not a random collection of cards. This, this is a deck. Setting aside, as you, I think, correctly call out the one... Feast of the Unicorn, you can maybe critique some of the cards that are here, but it's coherent. Yep. You can read the deck list and it's, oh, this is a deck. And another cool thing that's going on is there's so many enchantments. And at this time, it's like, well, we're in disenchant world. It's just like all over the place and it's a constructed staple. And can you really build around enchantments? And it's like, well, in draft, maybe they got one on their sideboard, or something. Yeah. They're not going to. Even if they can blow up one, they can't blow up 10 or 11. Yep. You can't blow up all those gaseous forms. So that's another cool thing that kind of comes to the surface on this deck. So that's Sean's deck. Gorgeous Esper deck. Other side of things. We've got a red, white, blue. Some call it Jeskai. Some call it Raka. You can call it whatever you want. It's a, it's a lot of creatures, a couple of spells and enchantments and lands, which is what you'd kind of expect. This is very, I mean, this is much closer to a stereotypical quote unquote good draft deck yes it's three colors because you just have to be with 38 cards and some of its home plans mm -hmm. so you're not going to be able to build a coherent two color deck and it's just a collection of rates some of them are better than others this deck's a little bit on the aggressive side you know there's iron claw arcs and such but this is a very stereotypical but above average draft deck for what the format was so creatures we've got an abbey matron we've got an anaba shaman an angry mob a banalish hero banding a cave people, a Chandler, a giant albatross, not one, but two hill giants, one iron claw orcs, one Mesa Pegasus, two prodigal sorcerer, a Samite healer, a Shivan dragon, the big fella, a sisters of the flame and a water elemental. So as Patrick mentioned, just a riff raff of creatures and then, you know, the lands to be able to cast them. There's an Armageddon and a lightning bolt. We know those cards are really good. So that's cool. Uh, there's an Anzaren ruins and two immolations. 
and then the aforementioned 18 lands and then random sideboard cards. Now, in the gameplay aspect, we kind of go over our thoughts on cards like Prodigal Sorcerer and Samite Healer and all of that stuff. So we're going to save the fun analysis for the gameplay. But as you mentioned, this is just kind of what you would expect a deck to look like, given the circumstances. Yeah, you have a couple of, of standout rares in Armageddon and uh, Shivan. Yeah. And then beyond that, it's just, you know, pingers and removal and some creatures that are OK on rate. Like I said, this is kind of what you would expect a draft deck of this format to look like, although I think this is, you know, much better than the average one. I would agree. So without any further ado, the deck analysis is over. The gameplay is coming to you right now. All right, everybody. We are here in the Receivable Studio to record a little... uh whatever this is going to be, Cedric Phillips, Patrick Sullins over there. Uh, I have elected, have I elected to play Sean Rayner's deck? Or did you force me to play Hammer's deck? You gave me the choice and I wanted to take Titan Blevins. Okay, okay. So I am on uh, gaseousform.com. Mm -hmm. Got four of those for you. Yeah, so get ready for that. I'm yeah. playing Jeskai Banding. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like. You also have a ship and dragon too. Yes. So I hope you draw that and I hope it's effective. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to roll some dice as we always do to see who goes first. Oof. Okay, five. I'm worse. All right, well, 10. I think that's the first I will be won. Uh, my partner in crime, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, a quick disclaimer normally we do two games pre sideboard and three post. No guarantee. These games might be horrible. Like worse than the land tax crap we did. Well, welcome to fourth edition homelands. Yes. Battled in the finals of the Pro Tour by two of the forebearers of New England magic. Yeah. Sean, Hannah Regner, and Titan Gwendolyn. All right, let's go. Okay. Go. <laughs> Is that a Banalish hero? Yeah, 1-1 one, one banding. Okay. You, oh my. You, you know, you've talked about the power level of this card. Oh no. Okay. Flood. Yeah. You can pay a blue and a blue tap target creature without flying, like this one. Right. Go ahead. Let me get my life total ready here. That'll be 19. Good attack. Go. 20. 20. All right, I'm at 19. All right. Your turn. And move to combat. Bring it on. 18. Your turn. Ooh. All right. Got right. you. Yeah, you showed me all right. <laughs> you really did. Uh, I'll play a planes and it's your turn. I'll take all 20 from this thing. I don't mind. Move to combat. Yep. 17. Try to resolve angry mob. Uh, okay, so what is that? 2 2 trample. <laughs> <laughs> During, during, during my turn, it gets power and it gets extra power and toughness equal to your swamps. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's not gonna resolve. Oh, you got a, you got so very. X is the okay. Uh, power sink. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> got your ass. All right, I'll draw. Yeah. Okay, now we can start to tune up the band a little bit. Your turn. Hmm. Slow and steady. No rush. No rush in the finals of this Pro Tour. Move to combat. Oh, yeah. Beat you down. 16. Go. All right. <laughs> two, two trample. Mm hmm. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> I'll play a swamp now. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rodman got here late. But I have Incredible all the sequencing yes. playing around the angry mob. Oh, thank you very much. Let's see if you can beat this one. Dark Maze. Ooh. Yeah, that's this a, is a five oh, mana it. four. I don't know what it is. Five mana four or five. I can pay zero. Dark Maze can attack this turn. At end of turn, remove Dark Maze from the game. Dark Maze cannot attack the turn it comes. Oh, so, you, so no. Yeah, hits. like it's like a creature with through the breach attached to it. All right, uh, it's, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. It's your turn. That seems pretty good. This is the biggest thing on the planet. Yeah. Go. All right, untap. Big draw. 
Maze is rough. Yeah, I imagine this has got to be tough for you. I'll play a Great Shot yeah. Catapult. This is a four mana, two, three. Tap it to deal one damage to our creature with flying. Go. And you turn on both the Great Shot Catapult. Dead. I'll try to get him. Oh, really? We're just going to do this right now? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. good against Flood. <laughs> Accurate. Go. Okay, here it is. You want a horrible magic? Go. You got it. There. There. <laughs> what, is, what is this? Giant Albatross? I don't know what that does. All right, so it's a 1-1 one, one flyer for two. Start there. Okay. However, hey, Blue Nicolas, bury all creatures that damage Giant Albatross this turn. The controller of any of those creatures may pay two life to prevent that creature from being buried. This is a hell of a blue card. Effects that prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. Use this ability only when Giant Albatross is put into the graveyard from play. So I thought about it, like, should I bolt your grave shot catapult or should I try to set this up where, you know, maybe try to bolt you, but yeah. decided this way. Go ahead. Okay, so basically it's a two mana one one flyer. Yeah, but it, it's, there's, there's like a one in 500 chance that you end up killing yourself. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll draw. <laughs> Uh, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go. All right. Go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. He's taking some liberties with our mana base here. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, 14. Go. Draw again. Go. Oh, my goodness. 13. Am I gonna get that noise every time? Probably. What a prodigal. Yeah, that's good. Good. Mm. Nudge. I'll tell you what, this dark maze though. I might fire it up. You might? Just to teach you a like lesson. Teach you a lesson. You bridge me? Yeah. Found that. All right, 12. Chandler. Okay, I don't remember what that does. Five mana, three, three, legendary creature. Yep. Uh, pay three red and tap it to destroy an artifact creature. All right, that's fine. Go. Draw. Oh, God. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm going to go to discard, which means you're going to shoot me down to 11. Okay. Um, okay, I don't even know why this is in here, so... Feast of the Unicorn. Mm -hmm. Go with the Dark Maze. Is he ill? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, move to combat. I'm ready. All attack is a band. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <this works. laughs> okay, so <laughs> go through it. Okay, when I'm attacking, uh -huh. I can only have one non banding creature in the attack. Okay, so, so I have Banalish Hero yep. and Chandler. I couldn't put the product of Sorcerer in the main. Okay. What happens is, and also all creature keywords only affect, only work if all of them have it. So okay. if I attack with Chandler and a flying banding creature, the band does not fly. Okay. So it's, but if everyone has trample, then the band would have trample. Okay, sure. What it means is when you block, yep. instead of you assigning damage, I decide how your damage is. Assigned. Okay. Is that all? I, is that it? Yeah. So if you double block, you don't get to go Chandler, Banalis Hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to go four damage to one of these two. Okay, sure. Well, I'm going to block. Okay. Uh, I am going to. Uh, does, put, the, does the Albatross do something now? Well, I didn't know. No, the pro I have Prodigal Sorcerer. Oh, that, okay, yeah, that's, that's that sucks for me. Okay, so I'm going to put all the damage on the Banalis Hero. Yeah. Okay, and you take one. Yep, and now I'll finish and it. And I'll King the Dark Maze. Okay, I've been banded into the ground. I think that's our first recorded band. I believe that is true. So, or at least we got something. It may this. be the last recorded band. Mesa Pegasus, okay. Samite Healer. Go oh, ahead. You are going off. Yeah. My band, my band's next turn are going to be sick. <laughs> well, the, I've already gone too wide. Yeah. I'm going to concede the game. That is a water serpent? Water or elemental. Water it's elemental. not even close to guess. Okay, well. well, Armageddon proves to be a very good card in our videos <laughs> once again. Blood. 
<laughs> oh, that was worse than I could have possibly imagined. Well, okay. maybe for you. <laughs> sure, sure. I didn't, I didn't mind that at all. Sure, sure. All right. Well, guess what, everybody? <laughs> uh, game number two coming up right after this. All right, everybody. Game number two. Hopefully, a little less banding against me it starts right now. Go. Go. You know, I'm probably supposed to draw first. Yeah, I was gonna draw after I run the die roll, but I, I thought just, it was just two. I literally just thought about it. I was like, I should probably, well, perfect draw step. So, uh, hang on, nudge. That was a little semi healer. You did it. Go ahead. Rodman. Rodman me. Rodman talk. All fantastic <laughs> Rodman talk. And the payoff. Not quite psychic as fuck. So sick. Wall of bones. Your right. right. turn. That's like a flood I can't get out of with Armageddon. Defense. Ch -ch. Doesn't block that albatross, though. And see, now you Rodman to be bad. Yeah. All Go right, ahead. Timmy. Tim Tam. Mm, excuse me, jeez. Enough. Okay, 21. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, this is ambitious. <laughs> I can only imagine what that is. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm gonna try to play Hell Giant. Skill Giant. Uh, Skill Giant resolves. You. Gotta keep it black. Huh? The first of many. Ooh. It's gassy in here. It's yeah. your turn. P. Okay. Ew. P. U. This is actually can be kind of sick as a banding attack, because I get to direct all of it to it. Okay. Oh, oh boy. We'll come back to that maybe uh, later. Hopefully that doesn't come up. Okay. Uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> well, don't know if you're gonna be able to beat this one. <laughs> oh. Go. I've, got a, I've got a card that is approximately a useless in my hand. Okay, uh, your turn. Go. Yes, here we go. Now we're cooking. Ooh. Are we? What are you? This is a really oh, big, oh this boy. This is the biggest oyster you've oh, ever no. seen. Oh no, oh no, no. Alright, so four mana O3. You may choose not to untap giant oyster during your untap phase. Tap it, tap target creature, tap target tap creature is not untapped during its controller's untapped phase, as long as giant oyster remains tapped. During your upkeep, put a minus one minus one counter on that creature. Your giant oyster becomes untapped release player, move all these counters. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, go ahead. So it locks them up. Yeah. Ooh, Fister of the Flame. All right, what's that do? Uh, two, two, tap to make a red. Okay. Go ahead. You take a damage or no? No. No, okay. Yeah. The pair with Brothers of Fire, both from the dark originally. Uh, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. I dare you, I dare you to tap anything. I'm gonna clamp right down on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chandler. Before you decide to let this one go, remember the Grape Shot Catapult. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely aware. Can't gas just form that. How many cards you got over there, fella? Five. Five? Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I got things kind of handled. Okay. All right, that's fine. Oh. No. I would say more handled than I realized. May I? Mm, I mean, are you gonna control magic, my Chandler? That gaseous form means this thing can still block, and this doesn't like things yeah. don't do anything. Yeah. It's pretty annoying. All right, I need, to, I need to read this. Yeah, yeah. Now. I dare you to tap something. I'm gonna clamp, clamp it down it forever. Mm -hmm. All right, yep, that's right. Your thing does nothing. Go. Now he's 
making his move. He's making his move. Who resolved Anzaren ruins? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> four mana enchantment. Uh, choose a creature type, and that creature type doesn't untap during its control of the tap What? Okay, so I guess you would name Oyster. Let me see this thing. Choose a creature type. Creatures of that type do not untap during their controller's untap phase. Okay, I guess you could also name Wall. Uh, not so much effect. Well, if I regenerate it, then it can't untap, right? Well, we have to do lethal to That's it. true. Yeah. Just, <laughs> it's, a lot. it's a lot of work. Yeah. But, you know, just... So if I Oyster... Okay, then the Oyster is gone for good. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I didn't think I'd have to think about this mm -hmm. ever. Uh... You know what? Okay. I'll name Oyster. Good choice. Okay. Go. All right. I'll draw. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Uh, go. I, like, in seriousness, need a creature with banding. <laughs> a creature with banding would, would be, be surprisingly good. Quite good. Right yeah. Now. It would be surprisingly good. The things we do for this show. I don't know. Like this. Uh, water elemental. Alright, so what's that? 5 4 vanilla? Oh, that's not that, I mean, That's pretty big. Yeah. I'm gonna sink that one. Sure. Go. I'll draw. That one's a little too much for me. I'll play this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna play animate that on your water elemental. Okay. Go ahead. We're just getting uh we're just getting the uh, the forces in line. That's right. Not to ever attack, because that's Un impossible. Unfortunately, these cards are real this time. We did not proxy, which means we have a little issue here. We do. We have a slight it's it's the proxy ship and dragon. It's, it's, dragon. it's embarrassing, I know. Yeah. Uh, I it, didn't have one, unfortunately. Yeah. It resolves. Go ahead. It resolves. Okay. I'll draw. I'm gonna control magic it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is my this is my avenue to victory. <laughs> it's literally mm -hmm. the only way I could win. Go. Should have named Dragon with my hand. Yep. Right. Big mistake. Goo. I'm learning the metagame of the matchup. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. All right, I'll draw again. Bang. Oh, right one. All right, you're gonna take four. Yeah, you're gonna go to seventeen. Uh, your turn. Okay. Go. All right. You're at thirteen. Yep. Maybe I should pull the land for him again. Uh, go ahead. Go. Mm. Was it a nice one? Oh, oh, oh. It must have been. Oh, 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 oh. Let's speed it up. Oh my god. Goodness. Beast of the Unicorn! That's really bad for me. Huh? I'll take eight. <laughs> You're fine, go! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah. Retired. That was... You know? The banding was nice. That's yours. Thank and you. That's yours. Yeah, my cards back. That's right. The banding was nice, but the Feast of Unicorn. Ooh, what a delight. All right. Uh, it is one to one. These players have sideboards, so we're going to get those ready. See you in a sec. All right, everybody. After a very riveting first two games, uh, it's time to go to the sideboards. Uh, if you've taken a look at the deck lists in the, uh, in the description, 
you'll find that we don't have a lot of options here. But Patrick, you uh, you at least have a good one. I'm going to remove Anne's Aaron Ruins. It's quite bad against your deck. There is no interest in attacking whatsoever. Seems lacking. And I'm going to bring in Red Elemental Blast, which is good against all of your very expensive and powerful blue cards. Yeah. Okay, so on my side of things, Sean, Sean started a cop green and a cop black <laughs> in his 43 card deck. And Patrick is playing Jeskai. Uh, what do they call it in Apocalypse? Racka? Oh, I think Racka? it's Racka. Okay, yeah. You're playing a Jeskai Racka deck. So uh, these are, I'm going to sideboard these out <laughs> for literal anything. But in this case, anything is a Sandbite Healer, which seems fine. And a Cop Blue for your water, what was it? Water Elemental? Water Elemental, yeah. Giant Albatross, yeah. and Prodigal Sorcerer, kind of. Woo! So, uh... Pretty clean and easy for both of us. Game number three in just a sec. All right, everybody. Game number three. It's one to one. You get to go first. Yes. Or I no. I I'm actually starting to think that maybe playing is at least justifiable in these games because if you get on top of the game, you mm -hmm. have all these counter spells. I do. And uh, if I can actually make you tap out and react, I have some expensive cards that are good. Okay. It's at least close enough. It probably is correct to draw just because the mana is so bad. But I think that's part of it. Uh, the player on the play has won both games so far. So accurate. Okay. I, was, I don't know. Can't argue with results. Maybe need to do more research. I don't know. I'm going to play one set. Go. Boom. Iron Claw Orcs. Okay, that's a two mana two two. Is this the Iron Claw Orcs that you ordered from Tales of Adventure and you used promo code Receivables to save four cents? You bet your ass. You bet your ass. I take my work extremely serious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, laugh it up. Go. This YouTube channel is no joke to me. Yeah, I'll take it. Twenty. All right, I'm at 18. Prodigal. Oh my god, you're going off. Yep. Rodman Curve. Yeah, that's good. Go. All right. Oh yeah, you did rob me. <laughs> All right. Bastard. Gaseous. Oh yeah. Yeah. P.U. Go ahead. Go ahead. It stinks. Yes, it does. <laughs> I certainly, I certainly hope this isn't a slur. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna play cave people. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> okay. So it's I a think one, you're all right. It's a one four. When it attacks, it gets a plus one minus two. So it's a one four on defense, two two on offense. Okay. And I can pay RR one and tap to give a creature a mountain block. Okay, so sure. <laughs> all right. Now draw. I hope this isn't the slur, it's pretty great. <laughs> Go. Ow, I'm at 17. You're on top of me, playing first. I know. <laughs> I've seized the tempo. Mm -hmm. uh, combat. Yeah, I'll take two. Trigger, <laughs> trigger, <laughs> trigger cave people. <laughs> trigger results. Okay, great. <laughs> 15. I'll play Abbey Matron. Uh, no, you won't. Spell Blast! Go. Perfect. <laughs> it's like a white cave people. Yep. Uh, Swamp. Go. All right. <laughs> 14. The beats are not stopping. Ooh. Combat. Yeah. Tie trigger. 12. Semi healer. <laughs> it's good. Go. All right. Boop. Oh, that's, that's about as bad as it gets there. Uh, what is in your hand? Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 11. <laughs> if you if you've got the control magic and you're waiting for something <laughs> better, bad news. But I would have cast it by now. Bad on news. this. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a moat. I know. Yeah. I would have cast it by now. Hmm. Do I believe you? All right, I'll move the combat. Yeah, sure, case people. Uh, I'm at eight. Go. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. Spencer's Revolution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, and Seth, I'll, I'll rep for, I'll rep for four. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, my cards are already bad enough. Come on. 
Oh, wait, hang on. Did I see this? Yeah, sure. No reason, just want to read it for fun. It's a 1 3 butt bumper. We have to tap it to put. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, guess what? <laughs> right now, that is. That's better, as good as we can that's do. That's better than most of the things I can do. So it's an O3? That's right. All right, cool. Go. Ow. I'm at uh, 11. I'm Move to combat. Bring it on. Trigger cave, people. Lock the healer. Two. Yep. I'm at nine. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Go. Stupid arm again. Eight. Right, I got you. I got you set up now. Found that. Yep. I'll block cave keep. I'll block the cave people All right. before damage. But I'll take one. <laughs> Seven. Kill giant. That's huge. Okay, do. Uh, and okay, okay. Turtle. Yep. Uh, it is a 1 4 while untapped. But the question is, is how big is it? Oh, no. Yeah. Tough to have. Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This would be a great target for Red Blast, by the way. You're in the floor. For now. Actually, this thing, it's a 5-4? Oh my yes. god. Yeah, offense, defense, star. Shimon? Water elemental? Yeah, good. Go. Okay, okay. I had to okay. sandbag this, because if you had control magic, then whatever. But now, we're, we have like parity. Yeah, things have changed. Yeah, my hand's been forced. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Go. Thank you. Five. Oh yeah. no, he's in the tank. We're playing for the final to win a pro tour right now. And I'll try to emulate your Abby Matron. Blessed off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's good at all, but, but no. Come on, who wants a taste? <clears throat> good question. I'll try to get him. <clears throat> <laughs> Won't be needing those. Yeah. I came prepared. Decent Abby. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Your turn. No attack? I don't think so. You just... Don't you just... Am I at five? Okay. How good is that? I mean, my spot only gets better next turn, right? Well, I mean... So, like, if you go... If you go attack with everybody... And leave... I'm at five life. You attack with everybody, what happens? You go to two... Yep. This dies. Yep. Uh, these bounce. Yep. And step one. Dead. Yeah. So if you have, so what if you rip plow? Am I stuck? Mm. <clears throat> no, you would. I would still come across next turn. Okay. Well, I punted. No big deal. Good. I love a good punt. Go. Draw. Please. Nudge. Ow. At four. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, read that. Read that thing. Well, I'm. I can't. I was trying to see if I. Had <laughs> Combat. Yeah. Uh, I'm dead. Okay. The winner is you. Player on the play goes to three and zero. Three and zero. That's correct. That's correct. Player, player, who, see player, player who cast Armageddon is two and zero. Yeah. No, noting. Mm -hmm. Just, I was gonna draw five next turn. Mm -hmm. Plow my own creature. That turtle. That's a lot of life. That's, that's a lot of time. That's plenty of time to draw out of that and then lose to the albatross. Anyway, uh, three games down. You know what? I'm going to get it out there.
Two to go. This is not that bad. Two to go. I gotta say, this is not that bad. Yeah. I'm a little surprised. Two to go. Uh, game number four, right after this. Game four, two to one Patrick. He gets to go first. You're choosing to draw? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you gonna start with that hump digger, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, hi. My sweet, sweet friend. Yeah, like I didn't work around this one. Go this ahead. Go. Wow. Flying and banding, huh? Yeah. All right, well, we came prepared. Go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, 19. Good. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Oop, you're enjoying that extra card. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> this guy. This guy over here. Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had the lock. Thought I was feeling good about things. So this is like a super Rodman. Oh my God. This, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this mana. I know. Mr. Perfect over here. Kurt Henning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as a band. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, not as a band. All right, take three. Okay. 16. Yep. Oh. Oyster. Can you stand my healer? Yep. That's my best shot. Thirteen. Go. Cop blue? Yeah. Yeah. That's blue. actually exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh. I'll ping you uh Sarah Healer. Prevent the damage. Go uh -huh. ahead. <sighs> it is not useful. <laughs> I can only imagine what this is. Yep. Yep. Move to combat. Okay. Ten, go. All right, well, it's time to it's time to lay down the law. Mm. Go. I think I said my healer. Prevent. Let me help you out here, buddy. There you go. Okay. Combat. Okay. Two, 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 two. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'll draw. Lance, wait, no. No. If you're wondering, if you're watching this game at home and you're kind of, you know, even not new, new to magic, they used to put these things at common all the time. Yeah, they did. It was, it's it not, was not okay. great. Yeah, it was not they also okay. used to do a lot of this stuff at common, yeah. also not great, but this is worse. So both of these are terrible. Uh, alongside damage on the stack, it's worse. What's a single uh, like acceptable design here? I guess Angry Mob, the Red, red Blast, red blast target, I guess. arguably. Yeah, these aren't. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No, this is like... It's okay. I, I, yeah. I mean... I mean, it's okay if it's rare. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you have a bunch of cards still. All right. Well. Go oh, ahead. no. Yep, shut that thing down too. Ping a seven door. Mm -hmm. Activate. Mm -hmm. 
Six. I'll try to emulate your semi cooler. Sick. He lives to see another day. It does. Go ahead. Lands, I think. I guess, yeah, I just need to draw lands. I'm doing all right. Okay. That's sort of right. Uh, go. Finger healer. Boop. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. Four. That's that's fine. Go seven. Ooh, the rev again. Sphinx is red. The three. <laughs> Ever heard of it? I draw. <sighs> Need islands for my flood. Mm -hmm. Go. Tell me here. No. Give you that work. The business, huh? He says the business. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, I guess move to combat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I can really do any flooding right now, so I can just do this. So it's seven right now. I do this, we trade, you do that. That's not that big of a deal to me. So, yep. Block's good. Okay, so block. Pass. Uh, do that one, two. Mm, no, no effects. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Take two. two. Five. Good time with noodles. Go. Hey. Oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot that. Sorry. Lucky, I'm so nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we are back. We are. Back. Oh, oh, we are back. It took so long. Move to combat. Sure. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Come on, man. I'm so trying good. To, I'm trying to, uh, you know, maybe yeah. you'll flood yeah, out yeah, of respect yeah. and then. Yeah. Respect, respect. That's fine. Go. Flood. Bring you. Yes. Very nice. He's seized the I'm tempo. Lo I'm locking in right now. He seized the tempo. I'm locking in. Okay, here we go. I'm at a cool five. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's tightening up. Uh, attacking does not... Oh, never mind. Go. <laughs> never mind. A lot of gas out there. A lot of gas. <laughs> we're a long ways away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood. We're going to wait for that one, I think. Cool. We're making a gun bag! Huh? Go! Thank you. Nope. What? Why? Why are the... Why do they talk about the circle of protections being no fun so much? No reason. Yep. Go. Go. Thank you. Uh, yep, I use the swap. Oh, uh oh, what is this? Oh yeah, flood. Ever heard of flood? Go oh, sure. Island place. Mm. Not the best. Nudge. Thank you. Okay. Like, Move to combat. Uh, okay, so 
this is handled. I could flood this. Uh, bring it. Uh, hang on. Missed it. Do what we're gonna do. Okay. Uh, mm, five. So if I block, you shoot this and kill this, which would stink. You have a million cards in your hand. All right, we can attack. I'll ban these two. I don't know how this works. Well, I don't think you can cop the Mesa Pegasus damage if you do not block. Well, how much will the Mesa Pegasus damage be? Uh, zero. Okay. I'm saying, oh, okay. I guess it doesn't actually. Yeah, because you can still cop. Never mind. Yeah. So, okay, just whatever. <clears throat> Okay, so these are runes. Okay, so I'm gonna block here. Okay. And then, uh. Yeah. Oh, after combat, I'll try yeah, to shoot right, this with that. I'll try to resolve Chandler. Any cards over there? Three. All right, Chandler's good. Yep. All right, deck. A little help would be nice. Mm. Oysters? Oh, okay. Sure. Go. Sure, 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 sure. <clears throat> the last turn looks really bad for me, but I think it's gonna, it might turn out okay. Oh God. Well, I'll try to emulation chamber. Um, I see what's going on here. Mm. That and then you'll ping it. Mm. Okay. I'll try to ping Chandler. Ooh! We've got a fighter. A little fight in you. Alright, it's got damage on it. Yep. Move the combat. right now you have two three cards uh yeah combat's clear mm -hmm. yep all right i'm at three <coughs> go okay <laughs> well is it, is it good <laughs> No. <laughs> no, not not even a little. Go. Is, it, is it good? Is it good? How good is it? Yeah. Move the combat. Flood it. <laughs> Go. Okay. Go. Can you the police are here holy shit oh no combat flood it what the hell is this Fine. lava shaman uh, i don't know what this is hanging on it's a red radical okay that's uh Their product is really good right now. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that product is really good. Oh no! All right, you finally got my counter spell. <laughs> the counter spell one. Go. All right. Draw. Uh, go. Pain. No. Flood it. Three. Cave persons. A person in the cave resolves. <laughs> My turn? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. The people. Yeah, they're spooked. How did I get here? Enjoy some gas. <laughs> okay, go. Man. 
prevent. Mm-hmm. Blood. Alright, alright, alright! <laughs> I can't believe I'm not dead yet. This is unbelievable. I'm a little surprised. Uh, uh go. Dang. No. Blood. Heavy matron. Uh, that's the one something? That's the one three. That pumps butts. Uh, one three that pumps butts. Okay, yeah. So, that's a ground creature for flood. It is. Okay. What's that thing cost? Uh, way too dollars. Alright, it's good. Go. Yeah. This is 1996 magic. The vice grips are tightening on both of us. <laughs> I mean, three, three seems like so much. And but, yet. But so little. Have you ever drawn lightning bolt on your <laughs> Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. We got a lot of mana to work with. Mm -hmm. You got a bunch of cards in your hand. I have four, I believe, four. Four of them? Okay. All right, let's keep going. Okay. <clears throat> I love the fighting spirit. Go. Hang you. <clears throat> yeah. Good to come back. Flood the factory. Is that right? Uh. No, it's. Yeah. Flood the. I think it's called the factory, right? Yes. Flood the factory, I think. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, so where's this? Here you go to 21. Prevent this. Yeah. Okay. Good. Nudge. up a little bit it's a little annoying we'll gain three okay that's it that's just another life if you don't attack that's yeah. all and i just drew that i think that's the best i can do with that right now go ping no i mean six feels like infinite against you yeah flood that no <laughs> That's a two two? That is a two two. Jesus. I know. That's a lot. I'm just gonna move the gas pile over here. Yeah, it's a probably a good idea. Yeah. Alright, so sink it. For how one, much? two, three, four. So you have six? One, two, three, four, five, you, six. You need to overpay by two on a power sink. Okay, so you need eight. yeah. One blue, and then you need to be over by one, and then match my mana. One, two, three, four, five, so that's six, yeah. so seven. Yeah, right, so yeah. that does it, and that taps you out. Yeah, I'll ping you. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna five. Go. Yeah. So you know, this would be the turn of nail, Master Potion, that should have been good. Okay, so probably punt that one. Draw. Oh my god. Ever heard of it? Hmm. Not bad. Two, four. Okay, go. It's gonna be a showdown. Yep. All right, here we go. Go. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna start a creature with flying. Yeah. Oh my. Well, you can you can shoot this down. It's only combat damage. Oh, is it a one one? Yeah, you've yeah, 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 done that. Yeah. I thought it was a one two for some reason. Yeah, get that. Yeah, just get get, get, get some gas out of yeah, here. Get that weak stuff out of here. All right. Uh, well, better tapping. Here we go. Bones. Mm-hmm. Go. Thank you. No. Up, up, up. Can't use the swamp anymore. There we go. Yep. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Suck it, Tim. <laughs> Go. Mm. Uh, that's fine. Go. Okay. Draw. Go. Ping. You. Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. All right. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five. This is how Sean drew it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go. Thing you twice. Shivin. Oh, uh, that's fine. Go. It's been gassed. It's been gassed. Everything's getting gassed. Go. Give me twice. Come on. Come on. Hold. Why was it like eight? I think. Making his move. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. Bang. Uh, get in, float. Right, right, right. The, the, whatever. Okay. One, one, two, four. Okay. First, uh, okay. Or blast. In your hellbound now? Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Um, so I have eight in my pool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yep. Six in my pool. Six in your pool. Five in my pool. Five in your pool. Move to combat. Okay. You're in. So you move, move to combat is fine. So you have nothing in your pool now? Correct. Okay. So now tap. Uh, yeah, tap it. That seems fine enough. Okay. Attack you. Um, block. Uh, blocking is the same as just doing this. So, uh, yeah, just circle it. Go. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so the Geddon's gone. Oh, well. Might be time to get aggressive. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, you better you better watch out. Yo, I might, I might start attacking. Uh, go. <laughs> Running out of time. I <laughs> think there's a way to run my way out. You know what, you have an out? I don't know if I have an out. Five? That is not it, is it? Okay. You can't have an out. Play a giant albatross. Okay, big bird's fine. Go. Alright, shoot it down. Okay. Is that bad for what's it do? What's it do? What's it do? Hang on, what's it do? What's it do? Hang on. Hang on. Very all creatures that damage oh, giant yeah. albatross this turn. I said one out of five hundred chance. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. That's fine. That's fine. 
That's fine. That, that, that guy hangs around. I guess it's blue after all. Yes, yes, yes. All right, draw. Go. Figure twice. Nope. <laughs> Almost got birded. Yeah. It's got hidden text. Oh, yeah. Is that a real one? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Did we grind him into dust? Did oh. it actually happen? <laughs> Combat. Uh. Hmm. Is there any reason to do that? I mean, I got mana. Okay. Flood it. Ow. Prevent it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm okay, sure. No, I'll show. Okay, sure, that's no. fine. That's fine. I'll draw. Oh, no. The maze? Do I need to cast the maze right now? <laughs> you have one more to go. Oh, I will not man. cast the maze. Oh, my God, yes! Yes! I ran a lot of stuff. Oh, I did it! Oh, Hammer, you were, uh, you were ahead of your time. 43 cards! Ran you out of gas! Going to game five! Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Pivoted off those Samite healers with that cop blue. Circle protections, aren't they fun? Aren't they fun? They reprinted them so many times because the experience is so good. Yeah. It's really my, good. my deck only has four blue cards in it. Mm, 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 mm. All right, it's two to two. We play. Oh, I drew two. That mm -hmm. fucks up the data. We play for glory and a Pro Tour championship right after this. Game five, two to two. Will you play or draw? Play. Okay, good luck Go. for a Pro Tour title. Nudge. Go. Go. Matron. Oh, yeah. Go. Go. Setting it up. Night. <laughs> Night. Night. Right across your jaw. That's right. Go. Nope. 18. Go. Uh, go. Set in. Go. Big Daddy Yosh. Mm -hmm. Nope. Probably. That's fine. No, sure. Uh, also. Go. Sure. Uh, no attacks. Go. I think it's a one three already. What like this? Yeah. All, what do you mean already? Yeah. <laughs> it comes with a big old butt. Move to combat. Yeah. Banned. All right. So it's attacking for two. This band is attacking for two. All right, block. All right, I'll put the damage on the matron. Yep. Go. <laughs> All right, I got it right. Nice. All right. Oh, sorry. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Damn sorry. it. Okay. Ah, oh, sure. Sure. A sure. little post. A little, little in post there. <laughs> All right. Uh, flood. Ping. All right. I'm at 16. Yeah. All right. We're going to get a little risky disky this game, I think. No. Oh, okay. okay. Not quite. Not okay. quite. A fair thought, but not quite. Okay, so you can ban with just one other creature, right? One other non-banding creature. So you can't do this. 
Correct. But if I had Mesa Pegasus, yeah. I could do Mesa Pegasus plus these two. Plus those. Okay, got it. But on defense, it, not that it's likely to come up with your deck. On defense, it's all you need is one creature with banding, bang, and you can have unlimited non banner Sure. All right, maze. I missed an attack. I suck. I am the worst. Get him. Ah, I didn't think he'd actually let me do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> These lands are so much worse than just play any basic. Yeah, just any, ba yep. and, this is any basic is better. Go. Bing. Oh my god, am I gonna go out like this? Fifteen. Not like this. Go. <laughs> <laughs> go 14 go oh yeah we got a real oh okay we're running good four five six seven uh one two three one two three one two okay i cheated at some point that's fine yeah okay well this, that's how i'm much. sure there's some death that's cards. how much i cheat i'm not that yeah. worried about does cedric have some death yeah. cards in this you can <laughs> shoot me i'm at 13 <laughs> go Ooh, god sakes yeah that's right um the hell uh, go to discard, so I'm gonna go to 12 <laughs> after you shoot me. I'm gonna lose this stupid card. Um, ugh, what the hell am I discarding? I mean, this card is bad. A lot of bad ones here. Ugh. I don't know, wall bone. Go. Oh, God, man. <laughs> I don't know. I took it, I'm at 12. <laughs> I'm at 12, I took it. Go. Alright, sure. Go. <laughs> okay, got that. Um, not, not yet, not yet. Um, go. All right, 11. Yep. Oh, oh, fine. Okay, it's a real good game. Good God It's almighty. a real game now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Finally got it. All right, go. Okay. <laughs> Still not there. Okay. Please, Louise. Ten. Oh, not a land? Can't tell. Go. Okay. <laughs> Can't be sure. Mm. <laughs> Tough time for the black <laughs> Way to go. That's not, that's not anything. Go. <laughs> <laughs> not, not go. Sorry. Unintentionally funny. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes, it, just so far away. Mm hmm. Sisters of Flame. So that gives you some red mana. Yeah. Why is that all this thing? Just taps for red. Just taps for just, just a mox for a bitch. Just sorry. <laughs> That's all. That's all it is. Just the old mox ruby. Okay. Um, interesting. I obviously have an answer to this. Just Including flood and yes, multiple blockers. Yes. I guess the mana is what's worse. Yeah, here. the mana is the problem. Yeah. yeah. All right, sink. I uh, guess. Yeah. Okay. Go. Uh, control magic. Oh, have it. I think it's. Yep. Kill giant is fine. Sure, sure. Okay. Cool. 
movie combat. Uh, yep. I know what that's supposed to say. Uh, I'll make it blue. <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> Not again. No. Go away. Okay. You go. All right. Oh, we're out of the woods with that one. I made a blue with Agent Addy. I've banded multiple times. Mm -hmm. I've really gotten the full experience. Of you got all. You gotten all of it. All of it. And then some, really. Okay. So Tim is the only way I can lose. Oh. Yeah. Awfully confident over there, bud. I mean, it seems like Tim's the only way I can lose. You'd be wrong. But nine? Nine's a lot. I'm certainly in these games. So, let's see. Hand's not bad. If I do that, that stinks. Yeah, that's not good either. It's not the worst. No, it's mm -hmm. bad. It's bad. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Okay, that's bad. Um, go. Move to combat. Yeah. Okay, no thanks. Yep. I'll make a white. Okay. <laughs> that land. Was that thing? Angry Mob. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So okay. tap for a call list. <laughs> tap it one to make white. Tap it and uh, two to make either green or blue. Okay. So it's Noble Hierarch. Yeah, let me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Ace and Abbey. Okay. It's tap for two colors of mana this game. Okay. Yeah, Another achievement unlocked. It is cooking. Go ahead. All right. Blood. Ping you. Yeah, mid eight. Draw. This. Uh, go. Right, so gas pile. Yeah, get your get your gas on. Folks, we're working ourselves in the long game. This is where we want to be. This is the dream. We could just use a few more islands. Hmm. And you're at mid eight. Hmm. Okay. Emulation. Okay. Move to combat. Okay. Band. All right. So five, six. This is an attack of six. Right. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. The gears are turning. The gears are turning. All right. I haven't felt this way in a long time. <laughs> I got to tell you, Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> All right, catapult. All right, I'll give a uh, giant. Oh, does this give? <laughs> it's any creature? I thought it was just. Oh, no. Isn't it? Well, it's actually, is it? That's confusing. White and tap plus O plus three. I feel like it's just itself. Okay. Uh, Judge's ruling. What's, yeah. the, what's the name of the card? Uh, Abby Matron. Abby Matron. Yeah, I guess that interpretation does make some sense. Yeah, Abby Matron gets plus O plus three. Okay. All right. Fine, fine. If you'd like to rewind. Um, I wouldn't. I thought this worked. Okay. All right. So before blocks. Okay. 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 Is it bolt? I'm going to bolt the catapult. Okay. Catapult down. And... Yeah, go ahead and blow. All right, so with this attack, yes, this is an attack for three, four, five, six. Correct. Okay, and then um, you get to assign where my creature deals the damage. Correct. 
Can you double block a band? Yes. Okay, so if I do this, what happens? Um, so I would have six points coming in yep. to your band that I could assign however. Yep. You have two points, and I can assign the two points however I want. Okay. Uh, that's my block. Okay, before it ends, oh, I blue blast the turtle. Prevent the one damage. Yep. And I am a mana short of using the Ace Anatomy again. Go. Tough Bam. turn. Bam. Bam. Tough, Bam. tough turn for tough turn for the home team here. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. That's yeah. Okay. No one was on the light bulb. How's that? How's that taste, huh? Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Back in it. All my things are dead. That's fine. All your friends are dead. Mmm. Okay. 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 Turn this one around here. Not entirely sure. How. Well, I do know how actually. Okay. How many cards you got left? Two. Good number. Yep. Gas you. Gas pile. Okay, so more gas. Tank of gas. Yep, okay. Uh, mm, is that a nudge? Yeah, that's a nudge. Your turn. <laughs> Still at eight. Your getting's gone, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I still have my flood. Can I see your trigger? Thank you. Are you resolving a ponder right now? Is that why I you wish. Look? Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you want to look at my graveyard? Uh. Move. Move. <laughs> it doesn't work, but I want it to. In a number of ways. Oh, good. Okay, here it comes. The Abbey. Blue. Blue. Albatross. Okay, you're in the air. Go. Alright. 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 Uh, flood this in the turn. Sure. Alright. Draw. Seven. Combat. Yep. Six. Cacao. Then cacao. All right. Go. Yep. Eleven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rev for five. <laughs> Rev for five. Vroom, vroom. Draw. All right, not bad. Uh, your turn. Ten. While you're tapped out. Yep. You gain a life. So you're at 21. 21 to my 11. Or excuse me, 21 to my 10. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Nine. Sure. Your own. sure. Yeah. Okay. Draw. Ooh. Very nice. I'm gonna tap like a non idiot. Sure, sure. There we go. Mesa Pegasus. Okay. Go. Uh, go. Okay. Blue. Blue. More elements. Yep. Go. 
This is the potential for some really high stakes banding here. Not lost on me. <laughs> I'm glad someone knows the banding rules better than I do, because God knows I don't know them. Right. I would like to move to combat. Uh, shot what, this down. And shot. Shut this down. Uh, yeah, sure. The hero? Yeah, I guess. I'm literally just guessing. But... Okay, no attacks. Yep. Shambler. Okay, that's destroy an artifact creature. Okay, alright, I'm fine. I'm fine. Go. Okay, 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 okay. Good shit. Go. Mm -hmm. triple, triple flood. Move to combat. Alright, Chandler. Yeah. The water elemental. Yeah. Uh, the banding 1-1. One, one. Okay, Anaba Shaman. Oops. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Draw. Mm hmm. It's in. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Stupid card. Alright. We're getting the clutches in. The Coquina clutches in. He's fading, hopefully. Move to combat. Alright. Uh... Chandler. Yep. The, the... The Bander. Yep. Okay, and then if you were to do this, what happens? Like if you cop it? Yeah. I think you take one. Okay. Okay. And there I'm are... not positive, but okay. I, I think you take one. Okay, got it. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I know there's a little magic discourse around touching people's cards, but I don't believe in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe in any of that. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, let's see. All right, I guess I would just tap the. I mean, what tapping the one does seem silly. Um, I guess I'm tapping this. I guess. Let's see how bad that was. Go. All right, close enough. Yep. All right. Uh, end step. Kill this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're untapping. You're held on. I'm held on. Tap it, but I won't be in a second. <laughs> Draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six. Okay, that's how, that's where it should be. Uh, your turn. All right, I'm at eight. Move to combat. All right, Chandler. The banter. Okay. Um, it's just the same ones again. Okay. Yeah. Water elemental. Okay. 
Cool. You're good. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. Okay, that's good. You. Okay. Draw. <sighs> okay, well that's almost that problem, I guess. So then that would be three, four, so then I get five forces and damage over there, and then that would be that. Okay. Alright, gas time. Mm hmm. I think it's just Hill Giant. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Okay. Combat. Chandler. Alright, so if you band with this, flying or no? This band would yeah. not have flying because this doesn't have flying. This band would have flying. Yep, okay. So this band would not have flying. Okay. It needs to be everything on offense for it to keep it. Got it. Alright, uh, this one, I think. Mm -hmm. Actually, that, that seems terrible. Maybe I'm just supposed to do this. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. Alright, and then I don't think you're good attacks, so, okay. It's so hard! I don't, banding is stupid. Oh, you're going to the gas pile? Yeah. Why? Because this is either like a band like this, okay? Is either you have to take a point of damage, okay? Or commit this to a block. Yeah, sure, okay. Okay. And I think it might be worthwhile for me to do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the race is on. Okay, so. <laughs> you, you, you. Okay. You're at six. I'm at six. I'm at seven. 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 Okay. Move the combat. All right. Attack. Attack. This is attacking as a band. Yeah. This is attacking as a band. Okay. All right. Uh, this here. So Shivan Dragon's on the band. Oh, sorry. This is a, that's a band. I'm attacking as a band. Yeah. Okay, that's my band. Okay, so these there. What's this thing do again? When it dies, the creature that dealt damage to it either dies or you pay to life. And if this comes through, how much does it deal to? Two. Okay. I, I hate this so much. You're, you're loving this. I'm just, I'm really, I'm in my element right now. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So this gets through, it'll deal one. Correct. Because this thing doesn't do anything. Correct. Okay. So what I'm probably supposed to do is just block here and block here and then cop this yep. and take two. You got it. That's right. Okay. So I'm at five. All right. Go. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You feel alive right now, don't you? Yeah. You're really, you're really into this. You're really into this now, okay? Two separate bands. Yep. Five. I mean, I gotta have some sort of removal spell. So you can rev. You peel rev. I can, I, yeah, if I peel rev, you're dead. Oh, that's your potion. Uh, okay, this is not bad at all, I'm pretty sure. Uh oh. Oyster. Yeah. Go. Ping you. I'm at four. Uh, okay, yeah, you're right. Gas, your bolt's gone. That's Gas good. pile. <laughs> <laughs> so a reserve, a reserve to be called. <laughs> burp, 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 burp. I would like to move combat. Okay. Um, okay, you, okay, you still have two banders. Okay. Two banders and three, three gas, gas three, three gas hogs. <laughs> You gassed up buffoons. Okay, so if I go, I right, I can't do those. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, okay, so then what I would do is I would go. Your gas hogs are 
Hill giant, angry mob, and another hill giant with an immolation on it. Okay, cool. Cool team over there. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> the reserves. All right. So red, red man. Yeah, red man down. Chandler's down. Okay. And then you would do some flying nonsense, right? Yeah. So you would do some flying nonsense. So then I would flood. Because you would go, well, if you band here, they don't. Okay, so this is the only one that would fly. So you would like band like here ish, I guess. And I basically allow you to get a point of damage through. So you're just trying to get a point of damage through right now. That's the goal. Now, if I don't see any flooding, what does that mean? If I don't flood at all, I've got three blockers. I've got cop that takes care of this. <clears throat> if you band with this, then. I would cop that, and then you would... This is also potentially a band I could attack with. Sure. <laughs> the band man. Mm -hmm. He's the band man over here. He can yep. he sing a little song. Make a little love. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This is so unfamiliar to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm, I, I love watching the wheels turn. Um, people think they know about this stuff, but they don't. I, I don't know anything about this. I just feel like if I get like out of this turn alive, I can't have a lot of action up in the Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's not, like not out of fireball. Or yeah, it's just not possible. So I'm at four. Okay. Um. Okay, so if this is a band, yes, that's uh. That's a flying band. It is not. It is not because this doesn't have flying. Not as this. Okay, sure. So it's a ground. It's a ground band. Okay. Well, I wouldn't mind a ground band. That wouldn't bother me too much. I don't think. Okay. And then we could block here, and then this you could pay the ability to make these trade, which I wouldn't like much, because then the flyer is gone. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's also an option. Okay, I'm going to tap the... Uh... Tap the bander, I guess? Alright. No, I don't tap... Mm. If I don't tap the bander, now if it bands with anything, it just runs in the dark maze. But if you do this... And Dark Maze assigns its damage to that. Well, you would choose, and Dark Maze would kill something. Right, so. Okay, I'm gonna say no flood? You're not flooding anything else. Uh. I don't think so. Okay. Alright, no flood. This is a band. Alright. This is a band. Alright. Attack. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna maze this. Sure. And I'm gonna block uh block there. Alright, so I'm gonna put all of your dark maze damage onto water elemental, which is a five for right? Right. Okay. I'm gonna put all of my all your shipping dragon damage onto the giant number trucks. Okay. Alright, so uh, trade, this dies, trigger Albatross. Okay. So what happens with Albatross now? Either this dies or you pay two life. Alright, well I'm not going to pay two life, so... Alright, so these are dead. Yes. Okay, uh, that's yours, this is yeah. mine. I don't know if that was good or bad for me. I really have no clue. I'll try to play Emulation on your first turn. Uh, so that would make it a two... Two two. Oh, sorry. Uh, two one. Two one. All right. Let's spell blast that. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. Draw. Uh, go. Thank you. All right. I'm. This is gonna put me to three. Yep. 
and then I'm gonna hound this. Yep. All right, so how's this work? So you can keep this tapped. <clears throat> yep. If you do keep it tapped, it saves the other so, creature tapped, yep. and it gets my opponent's one. All right, keep going. Move to combat. Chandler. This. All right, I'm at two. <laughs> yep. Go. Okay, okay. Leave it tapped so that yep. gets a counter. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> Go. Oh no! What have I done? Combat. Uh, flood, flood. One. Cave, persons of cave origin. Uh, I guess. Okay. All right. Counter that. Yep. All right. My turn. Yep. Okay. So now. Oh, you might want to untap the oyster. I'm not. I don't know. If you're at one, I get. I assume you can't. Yeah. Then this is just. That seems too bad. Lethal. Okay. All right. So counter spells over here. All right. So leave it tapped. So that's dead. Yes. You're right. Okay. Yep. <sighs> Not the rev. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> no, <I'll be> this. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Cedric, don't, don't you dare slow roll me. It's a turn late. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a turn late. <laughs> Uh, you win! Oh, man. There it is. What did I have? Oh, my God. The gas. I had two I had two outs! Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you were... You were drawing really heavy there. Because I was down to my last card. Yeah. Maze of Pegasus comes across for really? Xaxes. Wow. Maybe I was what supposed a... to... Don't worry about it. Maybe I was supposed to oyster that. <laughs> yeah, just figured that out. Yeah. Okay. Go, <laughs> go check out my only bands. Yeah. <laughs> We're done here, Frank. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Okay. Oh, incredible. All right. Probably blew it numerous times. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Patrick wins three games to two. Uh, a band is triumphant. I probably did some things wrong. Oh, well. It's just for fun. Uh, we'll take a short break when we come back. Uh, review of this and the Pro Tour. See you in a second. All right, everybody. We've got a wrap up to do. But first, let's get the sponsorship stuff out of the way before you gloat. Uh, brought to you by our friends over at Coalesce Apparel and design. You can head over to coalesceapparel.shop, the number one source for Magic the Gathering inspired apparel, to check out their selection of shirts, hoodies, stickers, play mats, and a whole bunch more. If you find something you like, be sure to use promo code RESLEAVABLES at checkout to save 10% off your order. Coalesce Apparel and Design, nobody made what they wanted, so they made it themselves. All right, you won. Could not, could not afford the iron price of Giant Albatross. Not just that. You know what's so messed up about those games? You're playing a deck that does not attack at all. Yeah. I think really the only time you got into combat was when you control magic my ship. Yeah, I killed was, you with your ship. That, that was pretty much it. Yeah. And banding was still so sick in those games. Yeah. And banding is so much better on defense than offense. Yeah, see, you didn't get to band on defense. No, once. I did. That never, yeah. I never even got a shot at that. Yeah, even against your deck of just walls, basically. Yep, banding was still pretty good. I'll tell you something. Uh, my brain around banding still just, I just didn't know what to do. It's. I feel like, I, am fluent in a dead language. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's not that many people. There's <laughs> there's not that many people I can talk to. But when I meet a fellow traveler the bond there is unbreakable. Yeah, I was the wrong person to talk to in that language because I, I didn't understand it at all. And I was just mm -hmm. trying to figure it out on the fly. You did okay. I mean, there I was think nothing, I did all right. There, it would have been bad if you had to attack. 
Yes. That would have been yeah. that would have, we would have had to delete all of that. There footage. was the turn <laughs> there was the turn in one of our games where you did the banding and then I double blocked and you like revved my turtle and then I got ruined in every way possible. That was tough. At least but I gotta tough say, turn. that's that's not that bad. Okay. Because that at least involved a card in my hand. That's true. They, like, whatever. Sometimes your opponent has a card in their hand that's good. Sure. So much of the core banding experience back then was just on board. Yeah, that I don't, and nothing of mine dies, everything of your dies. Yeah. You did. You avoided that, at least. Uh, to the best of my ability. Uh, so we hope you enjoyed those five games. Uh, as we mentioned at the top in the gameplay video, I was thinking we were only going to play three, but then the games were actually kind of fun. So that we just we just played it out. It's sure it's almost like anything else in magic, which is just if you come to terms with and accept or even enjoy the bad stuff, it's always awesome. Yeah, it's true. And that's a you know, these cards are really fun for me in a lot of ways, even though many of them are horrible. They are bad. Like bad gameplay, bad power level, like all that. Games that's not necessarily that much fun. Yeah. You know, about alabaster potions all over the place, getting decked without being milled once. You mean Sphinx is red? But yeah, yeah, just rev for five, yeah. just all day long. But if you can accept all that stuff, as that's what it is, then the games were actually really sweet. So as we update our scoreboard here, uh, you will see that Patrick has won the 1994 World Championship four games to one. Uh, you won the 1995 World Championship three games to two. Uh, I won Pro Tour New York 1996 three games to two. And now you, by the hair of your chinny chin chin, win Los Angeles 1996 three games to two. So, uh, kudos to you. You're up 3-1 right now. I know I, the score I, really matters. I know that uh, I got to get a little bit of a cushion. Okay. Because once we get to lore winning champions, that is where you are going to flip the script on me. Might be a time. The, these, in, in in professional sports parlance, these are my home games. <laughs> sure. I'm about to go. And I'm sure. like, in not that much time, I'm going to be on a very long road trip. Sure. And uh, I need to put those wins at the bank while I can. Well, whatever. I mean, this is going to be total nonsense during Saga Block, just like someone has to win those. Oh, yeah. Or shit games. Yeah, yeah. You'll... Uh, You'll pick those up fast. <laughs> like, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but you'll pick it up pretty fast. Okay, good. Good. I can't Am wait. Am I supposed to play my academy? Yeah. yeah. You, should play, <laughs> but you should play your academy. All right. Should I? I, I don't know. I have, I, I have 17 mana among my land. Should I cast Time Spiral? It's the second turn. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you should, you should cast Why not do spiral. it? Yeah, you should cast your Time Spiral. Okay. You'll be all right. You'll okay. be all right uh let's do our shilling uh before we work ourselves out of this episode so uh first of all if you enjoy what you watch we'd love if you subscribe here at youtube.com slash the receivables where you can find our most recent episode of the normal receivable show uh in which we covered weather light which was a fun review uh, you can find snippets of our unsleeved podcast you can watch our crack a pack videos and of course you can watch old episodes of receivables tournament edition too um if you'd like to get some early access to those things you can subscribe on patreon over at patreon.com slash the receivables uh we'll get our access to early releases of both the receivables and the receivables tournament edition you'll get complete access to the unsleeved podcast which is our patreon exclusive podcast and you'll get access to early releases of our crack a back videos and the ability to win one of those packs. Yeah. If you subscribe over at uh, patreon.com slash the receivables, you'll see a variety of tiers there. The $10 tier and the $25 tier. One of the benefits is you are drawn into our pack openings. We open up one pack uh, on the air and then also give one of those packs out to one of our Patreons on that tier. You don't need to sign up or email or whatever. It's all a completely automated system to be drawn for these raffles. And uh, we're about to kind of hit some of the bigger packs that we are going to cover in Wrath Cycle and then in particular in Urza Block. Yeah. So if you've been interested and you're worried about like, uh, you know, if I win, I want to make sure it's a pretty big hit or whatever. Now is a good time. Uh, I'm going to give you Wrath Cycle. So Patrick's got those. Yeah. If you're worried, like, do these guys actually have the packs? Oh, oh, we have the packs. Do you want to know something interesting? I have Urza's block right here. What's that? Setting aside the very, very early magic releases. Okay. I believe Exodus is the only pack that I've never opened. Wow. Yeah, I was on a little bit of a hi hiatus from Stronghold to Legacy. Okay. And then gotten back in the game during Saga Block and then bought a bunch of Saga because it was there. Okay. But I've never opened up an Exodus booster. So that's, I'm excited. That's going to be fun for everybody. Uh, 
of course we want to uh we want you to follow us on twitter if you use that social media platform at the receivables uh and then finally we give a shout out to our uh, our wonderful sponsors over at tales of adventure where you can use uh promo code receivables to get five percent off your order we give a shout out over to our friends at coalesce apparel and design where you can save 10 percent off your order with the promo code receivables and our friends over at original magic art not a lot of time left in that kickstarter but link is in the show notes uh to learn more so what's next for us here on the Receivables Tournament Edition? Well, that'll be Pro Tour Columbus 1996. And because that is a constructed Pro Tour, do you know the format? 1996 Columbus? Mm-hmm. Is it uh, type 1.5? No. Good try. Okay. Ice Age block constructed. Oh, that's right. Okay. I haven't done the research for it yet, but it is constructed, which means that if you're a patron, in the five dollar, ten dollar, twenty five dollar tier, uh, you can help us decide the second matchup that we'll be playing. Because for all the constructed pro tours, we play one matchup here on YouTube, and then we play a second matchup that our patrons choose uh, on Patreon again at the five, ten, or twenty five dollar tier. So the ability to do that will be up very soon for those of you that are within that tier. That's a receivables tournament edition for the receivables normal. Uh, it'll be Tempest coming up soon, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on with that set. So a lot of fun things to look forward to here on the Resleavables. So for this guy, Patrick Sullivan, I'm Cedric Phillips. Thank you so much for watching the Resleavables Tournament Edition Pro Tour Los Angeles 1996. It was funny. There was a moment where I was like just pouring through my house looking for things or whatever. Yeah. And I, I'm like, I own more volcanic islands than I so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can I proxy volcanics? Yeah. No, no, it's just too confusing. Oh well, banding's fucking confusing. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, guess I shouldn't play I mean, that stuff. Banding. Band. <laughs> band. I'm, I'm in the band, dudes. Yeah. What's the song that I'm gonna play? The Wait by the Band. <laughs>